Hey guys, so we <coughs> sorry. <laughs> hey guys, I'm currently in Pearly on my way to Shortly come away soon. I'm at the train now, station. Why don't you so I'm at the train station as you can hear. Um, just at Pearly, and then we're going to go to Clapham Junction and then Kensington Olympia. I'm going to the Asian Bride Fair today. And so I'm going to take you guys with me. I forgot to wrap up the other day at the Asian Bride Show, so I'm just going to wrap up now. Um, it is a few days later, but uh, and that's why I look different to what I did before. Um, but I'm just going to show you some bits that I picked up. I didn't actually pick up anything or buy anything for the engagement or wedding, but I did pick up like business cards, leaflets, catalogues, and like things like that, just for information um, of the companies that I did like just in case I do want to order or buy something from them. So I'll just show you the few bits that I've got in my bag. So this is the bag that I've got and it's literally just full of loads of business cards and information leaflets and things. But um and it's a right mess at the moment. So this is oh, this is from a clothing company called Asmana. This is actually my friend's um, clothing company and they do like Asian fusion type um, 
bridal wear and you know party wear and things like that and it's really beautiful um here's all the information if you want to go and check out their um outfits and stuff um there was loads of other clothing companies but none of them really stood out to me um i don't know why they just weren't my sort of thing the catwalk show was really good that's the one thing that i really liked about the show and um worst I like. There was a few bits and pieces that I really liked and I really think I will use for my wedding but I can't tell you what they are just yet because I want them to be a surprise for all my guests at my wedding um, and obviously if I reveal it in my vlogs or videos to you guys then you know some of my guests might watch the videos and they'll find out before the actual wedding so unfortunately I can't tell you anything about what I'm thinking yet but hopefully close to the wedding or after the wedding or during you guys will find out. Um, so yeah, some of the stalls um, that were at this um, show, or fair, whatever you want to call it, were actually really worth seeing for me, because there were some things that I'd never even heard of, so that's one good thing that I liked about this fair that we went to. This is another clothing company, this is my more popular one that you guys might have heard of before, it's called Sona's Haute Couture. So yeah, it's just like little bits and pieces really, and some makeup artists, um, there was loads of makeup artists there, loads of different styles of makeup that they did, so it completely depends on what sort of makeup you're into, what sort of makeup you're looking for for your big day. Um, this was a really great concept, it's basically called um, It's My Magazine, and the girls were lovely at the stall, and it was amazing, that was one of my favourites. Another thing that I liked is, because some of the companies, for example, like Carl's Collection, I know that I'll probably be getting some of my jewellery from them, um, particularly for my engagement. And uh, they actually gave us, like, the 15% off bridal voucher, which expires next year in May, which is brilliant because that's, like, perfect timing for me. So I'm going to keep hold of that. And I did actually see a set that I really liked. Um, I don't know if it's in this book let me see if it is I don't think it is but um and then here what I really like about this is they have all the different colors so they can customize any jewelry to your outfit so they can put gold plating silver plating bronze antique silver antique gold and then they can change the color of the stone in it as well so I really really like that it was it was good to see um and maybe if there's more different companies at different shows, then I might go to them. But I wouldn't go back if it's the same sort of companies with the same stalls and things. And um, the other things that I found helpful were the photographers and videographers there, because I haven't actually got a photographer or a videographer for my engagement party yet. So, pardon me. So I will be looking for some videographers or photographers and photographers actually. For my party, I did meet a few good companies that I really liked. Um, so I'm just going to start sort of reaching out to people in the next few days and um, get some quotes and things for them. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed um, the show and coming along with me. It was really good fun, but it was very tiring as it always is going to London and it took like hours to get back so that's another reason why I didn't really vlog so I was just so tired by the end of it all but it was a really good experience and I got loads of information from it so I'm really glad that I went but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one bye